If you haven't heard of steganography, chances are you think it's some kind of a dinosaur. Steganography is in fact the science of hiding information. However, in order to talk about steganography, first we have to consider its big brother, cryptography, the science of writing in secret codes. Basically, cryptography makes messages nonsensical to the casual reader by encrypting them using a set of rules which are known by both the sender and the receiver of the message and are used to encrypt and decrypt the message. Even though cryptography checks out on the secure communication checklist, does it always provide safe communication? Let's consider a case where someone is looking for encrypted messages and comes across the following text. What else is it likely to be if not encrypted? Hence, the only problem with encrypted messages is that they stick out like an ink drop on an empty page. This is where steganography comes into play. Even if you haven't heard the word, most of you are familiar with hidden messages, ranging from invisible ink to deliberate misspelling to mark words in a message. However, steganography today is far more sophisticated enabling users to hide large files and images, and probably the simplest and most effective way of doing that is least significant bit insertion. In general, each byte of an image is represented by 8 bits, which in turn represent 8 pixels on the screen. Let's say we have to hide the following 6 bits of data in an image. We take 6 bytes of the image and change the least significant bit of each to match our data. Given that we are changing only the smallest bits in a large file, our actions will have almost imperceptible effect. Think of it like this. Say we have a large number and we change its least significant digit. Although we did in fact change the number, in the grand scheme of things, the change is irrelevant. Other forms of steganography include null cipher, which hides the message in the first letter or any other fixed letter in a lump of text, using a template like a piece of paper with holes cut in it, and one of the oldest Steagall schemes, which is my personal favorite, was to shave the head of a messenger, tattoo the message on his head, then wait for his hair to grow back and send the messenger to its recipient where the messenger head is shaved again and the message is received. Effective? Yes. Ethical? Up for debate. Created using Powtoon.